Weatherproofing America here again today. I wanted to talk to you about uh, the zip system. You know, we, we hear a lot of contractors saying lately that the zip system is kind of a foolproof system and uh, they're switching to that because it's easier to install. I uh, wanted to go over a few points that we see uh, out in the field today to explain to you why that may not necessarily be the case. On this particular home, we just drove around, found a home with zip on it, stopped. Uh, so we didn't go and like pick any uh, certain home or anything like that. Just picked a random house. Um, this window, first of all, is not taped correctly because the flange is not on top of the bottom tape. And as you can see, they obviously didn't roll this tape or do anything the way that Zip wants you to install it. Um, the sides of this tape is already coming off because they didn't, you know, fasten it very well. Uh, wanted to also show you what we see very common on the overlaps and the concrete. At the bottom of the Zip system, one of the biggest things that we're seeing, because we do take these homes apart and fix them, and we're already fixing Zip homes. And one of the most common issues that we see with water showing up in the floor inside is the water as it comes down this zip system and makes its way down here. If the concrete sticks out past the zip, the concrete actually catches that water and it funnels that water into the inside. So this is a, this is a major problem in my opinion. Now, zip tells you that you're supposed to tape this bottom. Obviously they haven't done that here and I very rarely, I, I can't actually think of any homes that I've seen that done on in our area anyways. Uh, again, on the sides here, we have some really good examples of improper tape methods. And what I mean by that, if you come over here and take a look, there's bubbles and, and wrinkles in this tape all the way down this wall system. Okay, this is something that we see very commonly too when we take this system apart. You can see this one here is bubbled right across the top edge of this tape. This water that hits this zip system comes down here. Now this becomes an actual funnel. And there's obviously the reason that they're taping it, there's a seam here. So now this water that gets uh, funneled into this tape can't go anywhere but in the home so this is a, a big issue that we see as well not to mention when the guys don't overlap the tape properly because zip wants you to actually run the horizontal tapes and then run the vertical tape over the top of that so that everything's lapped they very rarely do that you can even see here on this home they've actually uh, missed a joint completely um, another point that I want to bring to light about the zip system is the way it's fastened. So if you look at this wall here and, and you get uh, a straight on view, these staples, some of them are over here, some of them are over here. They're, they're obviously there's one here, one here, one here, over here, over here. So obviously they're not within that stud, right? Zip originally wanted you to flush nail all of your fasteners. Then they realized that that's not going to happen with the pneumatic guns that we use to fasten sheathing to the wall system and all that. So they went back on that. Now, now they're saying that you don't have to flush nail, that you can, uh, especially with staples, as long as you're not penetrating like half of the material or something crazy, then it's okay. Well, I got news for you. It's not okay. There was a third party uh, that did a, a, syst a system test on Zip and Tyvek called Z6. Uh, videos out there on YouTube. You can even find it, I believe, on our uh, website at weatherproofingamerica.com that proved that the water that hits these fasteners, if it was not in a stud and it was in just a, a open cavity, that that fastener became an avenue for that water to flow into the cavity because the water penetrated the system, followed the fastener, and would drip into the wall cavity. 
Well, obviously they've done that here because they're not within an inch and a half, which is a, a typical stud. So these fasteners now are gonna become an avenue for the water to uh, penetrate this system. So as you can see, there's, there's many issues. Yes, most of them are installation issues, but that's my whole point of this video and what I'm trying to prove to contractors is this is not a foolproof system and there's no overlapping, uh, no shingling factor like you have with house wraps. Uh, the reason that we like Tyvek and Tyvek tapes is they're formulated chemically to bond uh, and once they're stuck, they're stuck. Um, but the biggest reason that we like the Tyvek system over Zip is it can shingle and it breeds. Another important fact about this system is it has a perm rating of around five, which is the minimum code, but once you tape it, it becomes less than one. So basically what you're doing is you're encapsulating the exterior of the home in plastic. Well, when you do that, you're causing a condensation issue because now the, the moisture that gets created by the extreme air temperature out here meeting the conditioned air inside, that condensation that that's created from now can't get out the wall. So Tyvek has a permeability of 58, zip system is less than one. So as you can see, there's multiple issues with this system. I believe it's going to be a, a major issue in the future and, and feel very sorry for the homeowners that are, that are stuck with these systems. Uh, for more information, uh, give us a, a call or a, a shoot us an email. Weatherproofingamerica.com is our website. Thank you.